SPIE presents the Advancing the Laser series, honoring 50 years of laser achievements. Okay, I'm Valentin Gaponcev, CEO and uh, Chairman of RPG Photonics Corporation. It's a, a multinational company with headquarters in, in Oxford, Massachusetts. Uh, our major product line is fiber laser, fiber amplifiers and related products. Uh, I started my uh, uh, in uh, laser physics in 1964, so a lot of time ago, as postgraduated students in uh, Russia, in one of the famous Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology. And uh, I worked in many years, uh, was working many years in uh, development and in uh, research of uh, laser materials, especially glass laser materials. At the time we developed best, first in the world phosphate laser glasses, for example, and then, then erbium glasses for range finders and so on. In the end of the 80s, when the situation changed and in Russia it's possible at first to start a private business, well, I used the opportunity and found a private company, uh, which this company shortly concentrated in development new, uh, new uh, absolutely new um, technology platform, a fiber laser platform. We first who demonstrate, claim concept and demonstrate for, uh, that it's possible to make multi-watt, multi-hundred watt fiber lasers. Before us, for people, looks only fiber laser applicable and amplifies only for a milliwatt scale for optical communication, some sensorics and so on. We show it's possible to make much more powerful system based on flexible fibers and um, start to develop this platform um, in Russia, we did not have any opportunity to make it in series, and we, I moved the major activity first in Germany in 1994, and later in 1999, we opened also the facility in the United States, in Oxford. So we believe the fiber laser will become a major player in the laser field, and now it's, it's shared from a uh, market of laser sources. A high power laser source. I don't take in account the milliwatt scale diets for transmitter for telecom for these and so, uh, other things. But uh, from these watts uh, upper um, level lasers, our now fiber laser between 10 to 15 percent world market. We believe that during the next five years we'll reach 30 to 50 percent of world market of all laser sources. So, so huge potential of fiber laser. It's mass, uh, now mass replacement of other kind of lasers, CO2, crystal lasers, and other by fiber lasers. Practical universal source, source for the most application. If you ask any uh, laser company, they, from their business, 25-30% it's service. So, fiber laser practical, no service at all. Very small, and we're giving a warranty for multi-year warranty with uh, three, up to three years free, and after that, uh, um, only a few percent for additional each year warranty, so every people can plan now expenses, very low expenses, practical with ser uh, service business disappear. It's a huge economy for customers. In former Russia Soviet system, it was difficult. It was system that each people will have his uh, um, cell and was uh, absolutely difficult to realize own initiative. When situation changed first in the United uh, such opportunity appears. I was old, more than 50, but I made decision not to walk to somebody, but realize myself. That's how to try to realize myself. And it happened, it was very difficult, a lot of, absolutely, I was lucky to make this, but it was, of course, it worked 
20, 18 hours per day without any vacation, holidays and so on. It's for my people who trust me, work with me also such way. And without any real first ten years, we did not get, uh, did not have any investors, any uh, grants and so on. All only was well, from beginning, since except only on the on self investment. We develop and collect orders from everybody for any application. Did never focus only in one application, and uh, it helped us later. Uh, then to select and to be uh, to diversify our business. Small quantity of company which very large uh, diversification of business really very stable. I can, we can look for them. Corning, for example, one of such examples. And, when, uh, and we try all time to build business with as much technology as possible in the world and the, uh, uh, as much application what is possible. But technology is not just assembly, technology is components. If you have all set highest quality components, you can make a lot of different. If it's a platform, you can make a lot of different devices very shortly on customer request, not to shelf, but to customer request. Well, laser is one of the mainstream of progress, high-tech progress in the high-tech field, very powerful direction, it's my profession.